these are my Hissing cockroaches. I got about 20 or 30 of them from a friend who had about 700 and wanted me to take a few off his hands. Uh, so I took them um, at the zoo where I volunteer. We have some um, people get pretty freaked out by them because uh, they think, you know, the word cockroach is disgusting. Actually, there's about 4,000 different kinds in the world. And there's maybe 30 that, that um, are actually um, not good for people. The kind you usually find in your, in your uh, you know, pantries and, and around your food and stuff. These are probably, I consider them little garbage trucks. Um, they come from the island of Madagascar, which is off the southern east coast of Africa originally. Um, they're about three to four inches long when they're adults. Uh, males and females are both the same size. You can tell a definite difference between a male and female because um, on the prothorax, the uh, male, this is a male right here, it's got two little horns, just two little bumps on the uh, top of its head. Uh, the females lack that. So that's how that's the obvious difference. And if you ever see a, a yellow, kind of a yellow stick coming out, this is a female right here. If you ever see a yellow stick coming out the back, that's actually an egg casing. And they'll either carry that around um, when they're reproducing, or they'll uh, set it off in a corner someplace. And um, they'll have about 20 to 30 babies. Uh, babies come out, they're about three eighths of an inch long, and they'll molt. If you ever see like a like a carcass laying in there, and you think it's a dead baby, it's probably a carcass. Um, the exos the shed exoskeleton, and um, they'll be white when they come out. And then uh, within within uh, 24 hours, they'll turn turn back to the colors of the black and uh, brown that you see. Um, they like to eat fruits and vegetables. They don't they don't eat meat that I'm aware of. Um, they love uh, carrots, uh, especially just the canned carrots. I get them. I get the romaine lettuce. You don't want to use head lettuce because there's a lot more uh, nutrition in the romaine lettuce. Uh, you want access to uh, fresh water. Uh, they do drink. Uh, they get a lot of their water just from the fruits and vegetables, though. Um, you'll have to have an area for them to hide under. I've got this uh, court park log that they hide under. Um, if I lifted this up, which I'm not going to do right now, maybe at another time, but uh, not right now, there's uh, probably about 30 of them underneath this. Now here's a male right here. You can see the horns on its head. Uh, right next to it is a female, and, they, and that lacks the horns. Uh, these do not fly. They just go around and, um, on the fourth floor, and they uh, chew up leaf litter and um, anything else that's available on the ground. They don't give out any offensive order, any offensive sprays. Um, they're, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't understand why people uh, think that there's anything disgusting about them. These are the ones you see on Fear Factor a lot. And you'll see people come to the zoo and they say, oh yuck, it's a uh, you know, hissing cockroach, when, when actually they're really mellow. Um, one thing I did notice, if you see this one here, you can see the head kind of coming out. And um, they do do that. that. That head is not totally affixed to the body um, like you would think. Um, the head is kind of like an ant's head. It's able to come out and turn and, and whatever. Um, the hissing is uh, from the sides. They have little holes on the sides of the body that they use for breathing. And when they get excited or when they're fighting, when they're mating, um, when they get mad, they'll they'll uh, take and force air out of those holes, and that, that's what causes the hiss. Um, they talk about different temperatures um, that you want. You want a higher temperature for breeding. If you don't see any babies, to raise your temperature. Actually, in my uh, where I live, the temperature is maybe about 72, and I've got a lot of babies running around here. Um, so. I haven't had a problem with any temperatures as far as heating them. I don't have a heating pad or anything in here. I just have a lid. Now they talk about putting Vaseline around the left uh, so, the, so they don't escape. They are able to climb walls and they hold on to, um, like they can hold upside down um, onto the lid or something. I've only had a couple escape. 
Um, it hasn't been a problem for me. Also, I keep my crickets and they can see a field running around in here. I keep my crickets in here too for my tarantulas. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can tell you. I just got asked some shavings on the floor right now. Um, they like, like I say, they like to hide. That's that's one of their big things. Um, if you turn this over, it's just loaded with them. I use uh, old like toilet paper tubes or uh, you know hand or um, just any any sort of uh, uh, tubes. Egg cartons would work. These logs are nice, but they're uh, pretty bulky. Um, People lived for about maybe two years. There's some reports of some living about three. Uh, as far as handling them, they're they're easy to handle. Um, they like to run when you pick them up. Let's see if I can grab this one here. They'll turn them. They can when they fall over, they'll fall on our back. But I you know, see that they are hard to pick up. Monster. This one looks like it's shedding a little bit. You can see, you can see some of the, the dry skin on there. But actually, they're uh, they're really mellow. This is a female. I'll get it back down. If they do fall, they roll up. They'll be laying on their back, and they will turn over. They're pretty good at uh, writing this stuff. Um, there are several babies in here in different stages of development. Um, if you want, if you want to be safe, they say to take a take a couple inches of of uh, Vaseline and just smear it along the sides, and then you don't have to use a top. I haven't done that yet. I haven't found the need for it. I've only had a couple get out my, that I know of, and I did find them. So, okay, well, I'll stop back. Um, I just wanted to get this on YouTube. I noticed there's not a lot of uh, information about Madagascar just in cockroaches. So, thanks for stopping. I hope you enjoyed. Comment if you wish. Thanks.